And for news tonight, demolition is underway on another building with extreme hazardous material. Bryant Madrick checked out the demolition. Bryant, tell us more. Well, Christine and Scott, today one of the most hazardous buildings on the Hanford site is under demolition. I spoke with workers who say this project will not only improve the appearance of the area, but also eliminate a dangerous source of pollution. It took three years to prepare this building for demolition, but in a month, all that will be left is rubble. The 327 building is one of the most contaminated structures on the Hanford site. Area 3 Superintendent Bill Waller says the type of work done inside this building is why it took so long to tear it down. The research that they did here was uh, very hazardous, had very high levels of, uh, of radioactive uh, material, had a lot of contamination. Over the years, we've been able to decrease that. Since 1953, the structure contained 10 hot cells, or large boxes made of lead and concrete, where research was conducted. The first of those 10 cells was removed last year. The Department of Energy says the job making this structure safe was no easy task. You know, fixing the contamination in place inside the facility so it was safe is, was, a, was a massive undertaking. And so Washington Closure has done a great job of uh, cleaning out the facility. DOE also adds the demolition of the 327 building will benefit the area. It's a tremendous time to see the skyline change. I think pretty soon you'll be able to take a trip up the Columbia River and past the 300 area and, and not see uh, buildings anymore. We're, you know, in the coming months, we're going to see more buildings come down. The demolition of the buildings in the 300 area of the site has been underway since 2004, and the next scheduled demolition will take place in October. Brian Tmadrick. KDU right now.